こんにちは皆さんオープンスタックサミットへようこそハローエビワンウェルカムトゥ東京Time in the history of OpenStack, Neutron was the most active project in all of OpenStack. So we're now seeing that 89%, almost every single OpenStack cloud in production is now running Neutron. That's pretty incredible in just one year. Another thing that we're announcing today that I'm really excited about is a new section on our website. Which is、uh, all about navigating the world of OpenStack software. And we call this the,、uh, the, the Project Navigator. What's really cool about this is it pulls in tons of data from all these different sources and presents it in a way where you can go and you can look at these projects and you can see you know, how,、um, how widely deployed is it, how long has it been in development, and decide for yourself you know, do I want to deploy this now? Do I want to wait until it's Uh, you know, more well tested and, and more mature. Or maybe this is a piece of functionality that I know my business needs, and I'm willing to be on the bleeding edge and take a little bit more risk. I think what we're seeing is the time is now for networking to have its day. You know, people are finally ready. To get serious about software defined networking. This is actually real data from the last several years that shows that the SDN market is growing twice as fast as server virtualization. And network slicing is based on the technology called software defined networking and the network function virtualization. In this respect, Virtualization of the network infrastructure is a key requirement for the 5G network. Because we have decided to invest in an open technology, and we have c h o s e OpenStack as our infrastructure solution because of its solid track record, growing community, and the great ecosystem. The Liberty Release is our 12th. Release of OpenStack. So, if you look across all of these projects, one of the things we've done to try to help users understand this world a little bit better is we've talked about the core services that we find in almost every OpenStack cloud. And we really look at that data, because I love data. And outside of that, there are many really interesting options that are right for some users, for some applications, some use cases, but not for everybody. 
and that's sometimes called the Big Ten. But really, it's about looking at the technologies that are emerging over the next 10 years and building a platform that can take advantage of those, can bring them to market, bring them into the data center under one roof, under one API. We are OpenStack. 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 We are OpenStack.